Hey, welcome guys to this uh, Substance Genesis tutorial. Today we're gonna see how to uh, publish our Substance for use in Unity or Maya or another 3D application compatible with Substance. First, when you start a new Substance, uh, we have this this screen, this welcome screen. Here you can choose uh, the workflow you will use for your Substance. This time we use metallic roughness. In this size, you can put name for your system. Let's put substance new, and you have to change. Uh, you have to select relative to parent. This allows to substance uh, when you export. Uh, the 3D application can set the resolution for use for your substance. If you go to publish the the texture as image, you can ch choose absolute. For this time, we will use relative to parent. Relative to parent is very important when you want to export your substance to another 3D application as a substance file. And here leave relative to parent and we're gonna hit OK. Now we have uh, our substance outputs, outputs nodes here. We're gonna create a basic uh, texture. We're gonna create this good and normal. Okay, then a gradient map. Uh, gradient editor. Uh, uh, pick gradient. Let's see. Uh, here. Here. Put here this and okay. Okay, now uh, uh, uniform color. When you use a uniform color uh, for better optimize, uh, put this to relative, change the relative to parent to absolute. And now you can scale down the color, and this is allow us to better performance. Control D for duplicate. This is no metallic. And this is more rawness. And now we have our very basic good texture, as you see here. here we're going to put an H hue saturation luminization lightness. And OK. We have our very basic substance. Now we're gonna expose these values. When you expose our values, allow us to the substance. When you export, the user uh, can define the, those values in the 3D application. Let's expose this, the hue. Uh, you hit here, expose. And you can leave this name or change new a new name for this by the way. Let's change color. Okay. And okay. Here is no more longer available. Uh, let's change the saturation, expose color saturation. This I'm gonna leave this here. Line is exposed. 
uh, and leave here okay if you click here in any empty area of the graph and go down you have the values here this is will uh, available in the 3d application okay so now we're gonna uh, save this uh, for uh, uh, when you want to export you right click here publish publish okay uh, I see you in unity okay folks and now we are here in unity I have an empty uh, a scene and I have a basic cube I bring this cube from from Maya is already have the UV maps ungrab it and now we use uh, drag or substance we use drag or substance uh, in the SBSR file use drag here in our project now we have here our substance we create in substance designer and as you see is a SVR file SVCR file and we have the albedo metallic normal and if you scroll down you have here the the values we expose the color as you see we can change the color and let's apply it to our model you just drag this in your model uh, let me apply the okay and you can uh, set here the saturation the sorry the resolution and we want uh, a different resolution for our substance and as you see now we change the color and we can change the saturation the color more lightness more darkness okay Uh, randomize the pattern and if you want to change more just back to your substance file source and hit here up and down when you expose uh, a value you can change here if you don't like this name you can change the name you can change the default value when open the substance in the minimum and the maximum uh, how many steps we can lead the let the user change in this slider this is uh, useful when you use uh, patterns like bricks or tiles if you wanna if visible we're gonna this more uh, more uh, more ahead when we use the more functions or FEX maps FEX maps sorry but basically this is how you can uh, publish your substance one instance you can publish to use in another 3d application remember save your substance and click right click right click here and hit publish when you hit here you create this SAV file also 
if I create a new new substance, uh, let's create a new substance. Substances. Also, you can use the substance files in the same substance designer. So, for I drag the the wood pattern, and we can see this is a new material we just created before, and we can use here in in substance designer itself. Uh, as you see, you can create uh, your your materials and reuse in another projects. And also, here we have here the para the valves exposed. We create uh, in this file. Okay. So uh, the, I hope you like this uh, fast and little tutorial. If you have any question, comments or any request for another tutorial, please let us uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, comment, share, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.